One of the new features of the 1.6 inch anodized heatsink strips are the T-slots, which you can see they're right there, and they run lengthwise across the heatsink. And so what you're going to do is you can put uh, these bolts here and slide those into the T-slots and you can take a screwdriver and move those along the plane to wherever you want to move it and then you can take the LED here and see I have a solderless LED and there's a thermal pad on the back of there and you're going to place that and you can move around the LED to wherever you want to move it and you can use the screw and the washer to essentially sandwich the LED down into place. One of the advantages of the heatsink strip is you can use hanging kits to hang from above. So I'm going to show you guys how to use a hanging kit to hang this 12-inch uh, heatsink strip here from this plywood from above. The first step is to get the foot holders in place. So what you're going to use are these two screws here and then these holders here which you can see have the ridge lines that you can screw into. So I'm going to put those into the uh, plywood now. Now that we have the foot holders in place, we can place the string that actually holds the hanging kits directly onto there. So you can see you can just screw it straight on here. And now when I take this and I'm actually hanging from above, you can see these are the strings that run down and actually hold the heatsink. You can see here now I have both Y hangers in place. So what you're going to do is on each end, you're going to unscrew this just so, so you have a little bit of a space, and then you're going to run that through this top lip right here. So you're going to come from one side, slide there, slide that across, and you can come on the other side. You can adjust that however you want. And you can see I have this ex these extra wire here. If you're comfortable with where this is and you don't think you're going to move it, you can cut the end here. And if you don't want to cut it, you can also just run this wire somewhere else. You can see here I have screwed the fan onto the side of the heat sink. So next you can take the end here and attach the adapter plug it in, and now you're able to connect that to the 12 volt AC adapter. And when you plug this into the wall, the fans will turn on.